Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the 0xc 8222 error in Windows 11. The first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane make sure to click on system and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot section and select it. Now in here just click on other troubleshooters and afterwards make sure to click on the run button next to Windows update. Now Windows will scan for issues and fix them as soon as possible. You can then check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to perform an SFC scan. To do this press the Windows button then simply type cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. In here just type the following command and then press enter. Just wait because the scan can take some time and afterwards restart your PC and then you can check if the problem still persists. In the same command prompt window you can also use the check this tool. Just type the following command and then press on enter. Again you have to wait until the scan is finished and Windows will try to fix any issues as soon as possible. You can then check if the problem still persists. And another great solution is to run the DISM scans. For this you also need command prompt so make sure to have it on and type the following commands and press enter after each command. Now you can just relax and wait for the entire process to be done. Afterwards restart your PC and then check if the problem still persists. And lastly another great solution is to start the computer in clean boot. To do this press the windows button then simply type msconfig and select system configuration from the search results. Now in here you have to do a few things. Firstly in the general tab make sure to tick the box next to selective startup and afterwards untick the box next to load startup items. Now access the boot tab and make sure to tick the box next to safe boot under boot options. And lastly just access the services tab. In here all you have to do is check the box next to hide all Microsoft services and afterwards just click on disable all to disable all the unnecessary services which might cause the issues. Lastly just click on apply and ok to save the changes. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.